and welcome back to the Hockett News. I am really enjoying having an all-new intro for the show. As always, we are super pumped to present to you today's show and your newest Real Unfortunate episode and a message from your friend Funster. But before we dig into all of that, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all for standing with us. Charlie, I'm starved. Well, funny you say that, Chosky, because today is, in fact, National, National Candy Day. But unfortunately for you, I do not have any candy to share with you. I might need to take a trip to the store to get that 50% off Halloween candy. Bro, those deals are the best. Even if you're not eating any more Halloween candy for yourself, you can... Donate it to the food bank along with any other non-perishable food items, especially canned items. Any food donations that you have will be donated to the food bank on November 21st, 3rd. You can easily help donate by bringing, them to bringing the donations to your school and placing them in the labeled boxes in front of the front office. Thank you all. It is really going to make a difference this holiday season. Just a quick reminder um, to all these students out there, please remember that cell phones are not permitted in the classroom. Please only use them during appropriate times, such as in the hallway or during lunch. Thank you all so much. We really appreciate it. Senior, senior CNA students, this is the last time that you'll be hearing from either of us about spring CNA applications. Simply because this is the last day, to, tomorrow is the last day to turn in your application. You must complete the application prior to November 5th. Ms. Iowas will be willing to help any questions with que students with questions or concerns. I myself am getting pretty jazzed about celebrating this holiday season. But of course, we all know about all the major holidays coming up. But never fear your birthdays, never go unnoticed by our beloved star, Funster the Clown. Welcome to November's first birthday segment. I am Funster the Clown, and I hope you all had a really unhappy Halloween. Well, this week, starting for birthdays, we have Zachary Cook on the 4th, Nevaeh Titus Charlie on the 5th, Ilana Sal Salmon on the 6th, Anthony Gilligan on the 6th, Joseph Barney on the 6th, Jaden Miller on the 6th. Happy first week of November, or should I say, unhappy November. Funster always adds a little bit of spice to birthdays that we did not know we needed. Charlie, I love how you seem to see the bright side of things, even when the situation is completely terrifying. Tessa, do you want to know what I find terrifying? That only health and arts AB seem to like pizza. Hey you, auto, IT, and construction, what are you guys doing? Well, I certainly hope it's drawing a beautiful picture of Hutch's mascot, Huey the Hawk. Please take a picture of you and your masterpiece and email it to benjamin.johnson at k12northstar.org and be able to participate in career cluster competition and win yourself and your cluster a whole pizza party. Just a reminder, Hawks, that there's only a, that there's SOS bingo in the comments tomorrow. You can win cool prizes and have an awesome time with all your friends. I know that I will be participating tomorrow and I hope that you will all too. Hey seniors, please send in your senior pictures. We have an announcement from our one and only Mr. Johnson regarding your highly important senior photos. Senior photos are due December 17th, which is the last day of the semester. We do not need any baby photos just yet, just your preferred senior photos. If you do not have any senior pictures, that is quite all right. The yearbook committee will just use your standard yearbook school photos. And if you're like me and want to use your own personal pictures, then please just email them to Mr. Johnson at benjamin.johnson at k12northstar.org. And the address is on the screen as well. That is all of the wonderful announcements we have today, folks, but your show's not over yet. We have a new episode of... Wheel Unfortunate, and I'm so glad I already went last week, and you already went too, Tessa. I mean, the only ones who are really left are Caroline and Landon. Welcome back to Wheel Unfortunate with your not a spooky host, Cohen Court. Last time we got to witness one of the new additions to Wheel Unfortunate, the wild card. When drawn, it could have any effect ranging from choosing who I want to drawing two cards. So you never know when our unfortunate contestants will get something even worse. Possibly as bad as Charlie getting your hand smashed in ketchup. Do know that I am sorry about that. There are only a few more members who have still yet to get their unfortunate rewards. The yearbook class and our current tech director. Let us give them their unfortunate gifts. 
Well, now we have everyone here, so I hope you're ready to see who gets drawn. Okay. Let's draw, let's see what we get. I'm sorry to say, Charlie. <laughs> Let's spin the wheel! Well, welcome back to the, uh, I thought set. I'd at least have a couple weeks in between it, but you're just gonna throw me back in it again? Well, hey, well, it's not my fault, it's the wheel. Uh, uh-huh, I don't wanna hear it. And, well, speaking of the wheel, it's time that we spin it! Oh, and we got I'm a Little Teapot Dance. Uh, uh -huh. I remember that from like kindergarten. Well, I bet you're going to be a professional oh, at it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, now that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you got to be part of something today since you, didn't, since you didn't get to draw for Pictionary yesterday. You better start dancing. Our audience doesn't want to be disappointed. OK, Cohen, I swear you rigged the game. But that's all the time we have for today. <laughs> Hey, you do not get off that easy. What dance will you be doing for us? Well, a classic, of course. Cue the credits.